I'm Scott Drake. Welcome back. Well, taxes don't stop when your paycheck does in retirement. In fact, tapping your retirement nest egg comes with all sorts of new rules and opportunities. Uh, my guest is Bart Geiser in Dallas, Texas. So, uh, Bart, when somebody retires, all those assets that they have accumulated now has to be turned into income, and that creates a tax liability. Uh, talk about the 401k. It, the 401k is a traditional uh, means, if you will, to use pre-tax dollars to, to fund your retirement. And we like to look at the outcome of any type of retirement planning uh, purposes, and especially when it comes to the, the problem you're going to get with, with your taxes. So we, we actually want to maybe do a mind shift in the marketplace as it relates to what's out there and what's available to, to directly have an impact on that money when you go get it, 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 obviously at the most critical time when you are going to retire. The biggest challenge you have that you have, we have, everybody has in the marketplace is that you don't know what the tax rate's going to be. So if you have a million dollars of of assets accumulation in your 401k, you potentially could have to pay $400,000 in taxes, and we have a way to get uh, to get you in the in a better position in the, in the time for retirement to go to go use your money in, in a smart way. Now, talking about the IRA, uh, that comes with required minimum distributions or RMDs. Is there a way to minimize the tax there? It, exactly, Scott. It, it, it's 70 and a half. Uh, as you know, it's a very, it's a huge concern today in terms of uh, how the implications of, of those, of your taxes as you start to take those RMDs. So what the strategies that we implement with our clients and the clients that I'm working with right now today, we actually don't even believe that is a concern. Bart, how can life insurance be used to create tax advantaged income? You know, Scott, I think that is uh, an interesting secret, if you will in the industry and out there in the marketplace, lots of folks don't look at insurance vehicles as a way to generate tax-free income at retirement. So we, we, we work very, very closely with our clients to educate them on the insurance, let's call them strategies out there that are available. And really only in the last 15 years, the tax codes have changed and uh, some very wealthy individuals use uh, insurance vehicles to prepare and get ready for the tax implications that they're going to have uh, in retirement. And we use those exact same strategies to, to, to maximize your uh, income and obviously create what we call tax-free retirement. Well, Bart, this all sounds great. Uh, what is the trade-off? Scott, there, there is a trade-off, and the trade-off is uh, the, the strategy that we implement is with insurance carriers, so there's a contract and there's a term associated with, with that contract, obviously. Uh, in, in developing the strategy to, to exercise an option for tax-free uh, retirement income, uh, the, we believe that the, the trade-off is, is minimal. All right, Bart, thanks for your time. Thank you, Scott. My guest has been Bart Geiser in Dallas, Texas, and you're watching Retirement News Online.